Yes, I'm good. OK. So, firstly... Yes. You just got runner-up. Yes. Happy boy? Yes, very much so. I thought I was going to be out last Friday, uh, and then I thought I might have been sick here, and then to come in second makes no sense at all to me. I'm still going around in circles in my head, but um, you're a bit yes. emotional. A little bit. I you just were saw my lady. Out there. Yeah, yeah. No, but even my... out there, I you know, had. Oh, did you see her it's outside? It's because yeah, I saw her outside, and um, I ain't seen her in ages. Where so she? she's just behind me, looking she all beautiful. She is a beauty. <laughs> yes, she have is. Have you survived in there without her? Um, I have no clue. Um, <laughs> I have no clue. At, at first, I tried to. Block Block it out, and I tried to block everything out and just concentrate on what was going yeah. on in there. Uh, and, and then week two happened, and um, <laughs> I was ready to leave. Yeah. Um, but look, seriously, I'm so glad that I made it this far and, and went through the complete journey because yeah. it's, it's been a, a fantastic one and it's, it's helped me grow. Fantastic, and I would imagine testing at times. Testing, telling, it's been crazy. Every single part of it. Let's go back to the beginning. You okay. said you had a bit of a game plan. And I will quote you now, you said your plan was to not be too serious and just to have a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I said? Do you think? <laughs> do you think you stuck to it? No, no. <laughs> it's hard. It's so hard in there, you don't realise. Uh, Grant had a great quote, which was like, you only have, like, you only get to see about 6 to 7% of, of the whole entire time in there. So um, it was super difficult in there. And, yeah. and, and when tough times were happening, it was just like... I, I didn't know what was. I didn't know what to do or where to go, because normally I, I would withdraw from that, or I'd go and see my friends or my family and be, yeah. the, be with the ones that I loved. So to be in a nut house, as I've said many a time, it uh, just it, it was a different pressure on me. It was it just took different different things yeah. from me that I never thought that would happen. You were um, you were accused of sitting on the fence, yeah. and flying under the radar, right? So how much more of a struggle was it? than you had expected initially. Massively. Watching the show is one thing, being in there is totally different. And what is it like being accused of things like that? Oh, I, that, don't, that don't really bother me. I mean, I'm true to me, yeah. and uh, I've always been true to me, to be true to everybody else. Yeah. And I know my word and I know how I am in any situation. I do know that I withdrew when, when I had my moment in there, when I lost my, lost my head in there and flipped on Bear and, and kind of was like, that's it, I'm done, get me my bags. Um, I withdrew so much, and it was a, it was great to hear Darren Hartman's little message, and great to hear like Renee pull me back on track, and, and then I could kind of complete the journey that I wanted to, and and enjoy the last week. Yeah. Um, why? How do you manage to when when you're in a situation like that? Mm. It, it, as you say, we we see a very small amount of of what's going on, and yeah. and we've seen. The situation, especially in the first couple of weeks, there was, there was a lot of antagonising going on from, yeah. from various housemates. So when you're living in that, we watch it and it's an entertainment show, but when you're living and breathing it 24-7, how, how do you cope? Um, I, I really don't know. Uh, it was just like there was so much like nastiness and, and angst and goading and winding up that was unnecessary. And I was just like, there, there's no need for it. And mm -hmm. I didn't know how to kind of deal with it at first. I, I kind of withdrew. Did you feel like you had to keep a lid on it? Yeah, absolutely. Every time that I, I wanted to pop or wanted to go, I, I... Look, I've said it many times, 210, right? So, you know, you take yeah. two steps back and you take 10 seconds and you breathe yeah. and then you come, you come with, you know, whatever answer or whatever response that you want to give. And, and that's, that's, that's what I applied to every, every time in there. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Bear. OK. We've had to talk to everybody about Bear because uh, Bear yeah. has been a big part of everybody's story. It's not been the Celeb Big Brother house, it's been Bear's Big Brother house, <laughs> right? And the first couple of weeks... The They're cheers. loving that. Uh, the first couple of weeks, we saw you be agitated by him, annoyed yeah. by him, yeah. um, and didn't really, really didn't want to be around him. Yeah. And then the last couple of weeks, we've seen a very different relationship between the two of you. So what was the switching point for you? The biggest switching point was when his ex, Lily, came Lily, in. Lily, yeah. And basically, it broke down every defence that he had. Like, Bear is very clever at picking a trigger and finding sensitivity and, and, and then poking that bear, poke, well, I say poking the bear, poking the lion, poking yeah. the lion, poking <laughs> the lion until you snap. Yeah. And once I knew that, as soon as he... I, I tried to not give him anything on me. Mm. Uh, but as soon as Lily came in, all his defences broke and I saw, uh, I saw a man in pain and I saw a man in, in anguish and I, I, I can't stand for that, you know what I mean? I don't like that. I've been there myself. So, so. did you feel like you saw the real bear for the, yeah. for the first time? Yeah, for the first time, there were, it wasn't about 
airtime. It wasn't about uh, creating drama. Yeah. It wasn't about winding anybody up. We did see you kind of advise him a few times after mm. that as well. And we, we saw what we thought was quite a nice friendship. Do you think he took anything on board that you said? I hope so. <laughs> but you never know with Bear. You, you just never know. He's the most unpredictable guy I've ever met in my life. So I just, I, I hope what I gave, I gave truth. I tried to give as much truth as I could to him. And I, I hope he took some, some of it on, but you never know. You never know. You well, know. I'll find out in a minute. Yes, you will. <laughs> when I get to meet him. If you can um, get a word in edgewise. Exactly, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> uh, Ricky, you are fantastic and so deserving of your place in the final. Thank you so much. Here are your best. Thank you. It's Ricky. I love Ricky. Yeah. Such a gentleman. He has that old-fashioned politeness. Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really consider him as a great friend. It's nice to be nice, but you can't be too nice. <laughs> Ruthless! Jealous. I'll tell you if I think he's disgusting. Rattled him. F off. You're an ugly human being. If you refuse the challenge, you yeah. will fail. Great. Didn't even give it a go. Ricky, <gasps> we've really disconnected. Do you see me attending to her needs right now? <laughs> How long do you think the harmony's going to last? <laughs> I really love Ricky. You're bringing back the year of a gentleman. Well, I'm not a gentleman in the bedroom, bro. Oh. Truly is one of the most sincere people that I've ever met. I love you. My time in the Big Brother house has been emotional, revealing, and rewarding.